After unboxing your new Roland GS24 cutter, it's now time to install the software and drivers as well. To do this, you're going to need your power cable, the USB cord, also the blade holder, blade, and push pin that came with the cutter. First and foremost, what we're going to want to do is access your computer to go ahead and install those drivers. To start, we pull up the web browser. We're going to want to go to startup. RolandDG.com. It'll pull up this site here. After selecting language, the series we want is the CAM one. And on this specific computer, we're using Windows based. Also, the computer connected to this machine is connected to the internet. So we're going to start with this option. In the introduction, we'll just pull up a welcome and go over what we're going to do. We're going to install the driver, install on support, install some software, and also download the user manuals. Go ahead and click next, and it gives you an about. Then after hitting next, we're going to download our drivers. So after going through the license agreement, you can accept the terms and download the drivers. After you've saved the drivers, we can go ahead and hit next, and it's going to explain to you about installing the drivers. It's very important on here that we know which operating system we're using and which bit as well. To find this out, we can open up the start menu, right click on computer, and go to properties. For this computer that we're running, it's Windows 7, and it's a 64-bit operating system. So if I go down here, Windows 7, 64-bit edition, means I want the Win 7 x64 folder. So if I pull up that driver folder, go to the Win 7 x64, scroll down, and run this setup64exe file. Go ahead and run the software, install, Make sure you hit the proper model as well. And in this case, we're running the GS24. And this is connected via USB port, so we'll just leave that as is and hit start. And we'll just follow the prompts on the screen. If you get this warning, it's okay. Just go ahead and hit install this driver software anyway. After it's done, we'll hit finish. And we'll go back up to the startup site. And as you can see, we've already went through all the settings here that the site tells us about. So now that it's complete, we're going to want to turn on the power to the machine. So to do this, make sure I grab my power cable and the USB, and we're going to plug them both into the machine. Make sure the USB port's in. Plug that directly into my computer. Also take our power cable. Make sure it's plugged directly into the wall. Also the side of the machine, and hit the power button to power it on. Notice down here we have a pop-up on the screen that says installing device driver software. So we'll wait for that to stop spinning and be complete, and then our computer will recognize the GS24. And to always check, we can always go to our devices and printers options on the screen. And notice how GS24 looks like a printer. That means that the driver works and our computer is recognizing our cutter. So we're ready to move on to the next step.
And the next step, it's on support. On support is a digital way to hold all of our manuals and also our software for it. So first thing we want to do is download on support. After reading the terms, we'll agree to them and download on support. After on support has been uh, downloaded, we'll go ahead and hit next. That's going to go into how to install the software. So you have the software saved here. Open up the installer and run the exe file. Once up, we'll just run through the installation prompts. After that's complete, we'll just click finish. And your computer should open up on support. So since we cleared that step, we'll go back to our startup site. We have went through all these installation steps shown here. So we'll go ahead and hit next. We do have on support up. So the first thing we want to do in on support, as shown here, is change our preferences. So we'll go up to Edit, Preferences, and make sure it's in English like it was shown there. Also, we want to verify our connection to the on support server. So if the earth is actually lit up and not grayed out, it means we're connected properly to the server. And as you can see here, that we are. So the last thing we want to do is make sure we configure the mail server on this as well. Going back to Edit, Preferences, Mail Server, always make sure that the Roland DG mail server is connected. Go ahead and hit OK. Now that step is complete, we can go Next. Next thing we want to do is register for a Roland DG account. To do this, from the menu bar, we'll go to Edit, Create Account. We're going to agree to the terms and go ahead and set up an account. Go ahead and hit the register button after you're done and hit finish. After that, we're going to want to connect a device. To do that, we'll go to Edit, Device Management, and for this cutter, it was connected via USB, so we want to select the Roland GS24 and click Verify. Notice it says the device has been found, and we can see it up here as well. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And for this step here, if you're going to be using multiple devices, we'll just go ahead and click No. Update from the server. You'll notice now that we have actually our Roland uh, GS24 user's manual and installation guide ready to go on here. So after we went through these steps, we'll go ahead and download the software. So with this, you get Roland Cut Studio. To get to that, we'll go to Edit. Device management again. When selecting the GS24, go to software and you'll see download installer. It'll prompt you on this screen. Go ahead and agree and download that software. So, after installation is completed, Cut Studio. We'll go 
go ahead and go to location to where we saved that. And I'll go ahead, these are zip files, so we'll go ahead and extract them. After that's done, go to the Cut Studio and run the setup. And just like before, just follow the basic command props for the installation. After that's done, sometimes this might pop up, we did install that program correctly. We did download Cut Studio here. Also, this talks about the software that will be installed. We did install the Cut Studio software. Also, if you do have CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator, there is links here on how to use the plugins that can directly send your artwork over into Cut Studio there. Going on the final, if you want to install the manual, you can on here as well. Um, but as shown before, now that support does hide down here. We do have that user's manual sitting in on support, so you will always have access to that here. After this is all done, we're completed with the installation on the end of the computer. Last thing we need to do is install the blade. So to install the blade onto the GS24, we'll need our blade holder first. And with the blade holder, there's a larger hole on one end where there are push pins going to go. Smaller hole on the other, that's where the blade itself is going to go. So I'll grab my push pin. So the larger hole, just drop it right into place. It falls right in. Then we'll go ahead and grab our blade itself using the smaller end and drop that into place. Sometimes just a light tap can get it down there. Don't push too hard though. Now, once it's in place, we can adjust the blade by twisting the blade holder. And we only want that blade sticking out maybe a credit card to half a credit card thickness out. That way ensures that we don't chip the blade. After that, we'll place that in the machine. Now, on the rolling, first you want to open up the blade holder channel by loosening up that thumb screw, moving to the side, and opening up that gate. Want to make sure that the O-ring on the blade holder, with the blade pointing down, sits up flush against that, and then we can close the gate. Making sure that that tab is sitting on top of the blade holder's O-ring. After that, we'll go ahead and bring over the thumb screw and just tighten it up into place. After that, your new GS24 is set up and ready to cut. I'm Joe Burt with Stalls TV.